G'day, it's Christine here from Chris W Designs and today I'd like to introduce you to the Snap and Go Wallet. The Snap and Go is a raw edge project so you'll need cork, leather, vinyl, jelly vinyl, anything that doesn't fray around the edges. I recommend edge coating these wallets. Um, I use the Giardini base coat first, the dense base coat, and I apply that and then I sand the edges and then I apply a second coat and sand it again and then I put a top color on top and you can also add a top coat if you like. Just adds that little bit of extra to it. But that is entirely optional but I will tell you this when you start edge coating it's addictive and I've I've edge coated so many things just recently <laughs> but yeah I'll do an, a video on that soon so you can see how I do it I'm by no means an expert but hey I'm happy with what I'm the results that I'm getting so far and I'm sure I will improve as I go along but well we've got to all learn sometime so I'll share what I've found so far and show you how I do it and yeah let's step it up a notch this one is sparkly vinyl it's kind of cute this one's a patterned cork I really like the patterned cork there's so many gorgeous patterns available now both in cork and a lot of the vinyls have some beautiful prints too so that's leaves you a lot of room for creativity in getting all fancy with your little snap and go this one here is kangaroo leather feels nice really feels nice to touch and it's quite soft actually and yeah I like it I think this one's going to be mine or oh mine <laughs> so here we have the snap and go wallet under the flap which opens with a snap you have an ID pocket a coin pocket which also opens with a snap and stick some coins in there you have a little pocket under the coin pocket and on this side we have a bank of three card slots one two three and another slip pocket under there and of course we have our note pocket and it just snaps shut the little snap and go if you don't want to add a coin pocket you can switch it out for an extra bank of card pockets it is very easy to do snap and go so what are you waiting for let's get sewing so now we're going to cut our snap and go wallet we're going to need to use something that has raw edges that do not fray because this is a raw edge project something such as cork vinyl or leather or jelly vinyl that kind of thing you may or may not wish to add HTV vinyl to the back of your pieces to get a nicer finish if you're using a lighter weight material the HTV vinyl will give it an extra bit of support but I'm using it on some of my pieces just to give the nicer finish on the interior of my wallet so we need to cut exterior panel A one off um, there are you need to have holes in those if you don't have a scan and cut to cut the holes automatically like I do um, you can just mark those using your pattern pieces and punch a hole with a regular hole punch because you definitely do not need a scan and cut to make the project it just makes it a little easier we need to cut interior panel C one off exterior panel B cut one card slot E cut one card slot F cut two ID pocket cut one now you you need to cut the center bit out so it looks like that because we're going to put our clear vinyl there so you'll need to cut one clear vinyl to go with your ID pocket we need to cut two interior panel D pieces 
we need to cut one coin pocket piece one pocket flap outer piece and one coin pocket flap inner piece it doesn't matter if you have HTV or not on the back you won't see that but you will see a little bit of the coin pocket flap there so that's nice to have a bit of the HTV on you'll need a coin pocket snap support this will go on the back of that to give that a bit more support when you put your snap in there if you are using a thin material and you don't feel confident that that's going to be strong enough with the two layers you can add a little bit of Decaville light in between just to give that that little bit of extra support For hardware you're going to need two snaps, one for the closure of your wallet and one for the coin pocket. If you're going to omit the coin pocket and do an extra bank of card slots then you only need one snap. Um, this, this, this is the type of snap I have here which comes in four pieces. This piece goes in the coin pocket and this piece goes in the flap or in the case of the wallet body you get this piece here goes in the flap and that piece there goes into the body of the wallet. <laughs> so I like to lay down a piece of scrap paper or two just to work on, keep my work surface free of glue because I'm a messy gluer. <laughs> so we will start with exterior panel A and exterior panel B. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this onto the back of our panel A piece. We'll turn that round there. So the straight edge is on that side there. And we're just going to glue that in place. It's really hard to see the hole there, but it's there. <laughs> I'm going to match that up. It's going to line up with that hole there. But if you haven't used the scanning cut to cut your pieces then you will need to mark those holes with the pattern piece and use a punch hole punch to punch them out so what we will do now is we're going to add a strip of glue about approximately one centimeter of width around the perimeter of this piece and also on that little piece now there. I'm using quick dry adhesive what glue you use will depend on where you're located probably and what you have on hand but just so long you've got something that's going to glue the cork and I suggest something that dries quickly just to speed up the process because if you have to wait 24 hours every time you glue something for it to dry before you can stitch through it you're going to have a slow process <laughs> but this one here I find I can stitch through it in just a few minutes so um, that's what I like to use so I also use this little stick here to apply my glue spread it out because you like I like to get it to the edges just to um, make sure that seals all the way around the edges it, you don't have to be super accurate with this gluing on this one because it's just a panel that's stuck together you don't have to fit any cards or anything into a pocket or anything so it's not super important that you're accurate here just try and get it to the edge because we like to have our edges nicely stuck together just does a neater job or provides a neater finish at the end then we will just position that onto our exterior panel A and firmly press in place. Now it's important that you get the edges nice and neat because that will make a big difference to your finished wallet if you can get to those edges 
really nice and even. So now I like to put a weight on there just to hold that down while that sets. I'll just put a quilting mat, quilting ruler on top of that, like that, and leave that sit. And then grab your coin pocket pieces if you're doing a coin pocket. If you're not, you can skip this bit. So we need the inner flap and the outer flap. And we're going to put the glue onto the inner flap piece just around the edges now this again is not important that you have a particular width here because it's not a pocket But what is important is to get it aligned around the edges so that the edges are neat. So take your time. See, I told you I'm messy with glue. <laughs> take your time to get those edges nice. Put a bit of weight on that and let it sit. Now we need our coin pocket support and our coin pocket. So again if you, if you don't feel your um, materials are strong enough on their own to support that snap you may add a little piece of Decaville light in there. Okay so I'm just going to add approximately a centimetre strip around the perimeter of this support piece again this piece here is not important that you have accurate width of glue just make sure it's to the edges And my bottle is getting a bit low. Come on, get down there. Need to keep it standing upright. Now we'll just line that up. If you've used your scan and cut, you can line the holes up. Otherwise, just make sure that it's got that curve matching and get those edges nice and even and we're going to sit that aside to dry as well now we need to grab our ID pocket that's this with the piece cut out in the center and your ID pocket window now we're just going to flip that over and we're going to run a bead of glue, just a little bit of glue. We don't want a bit big heap, which I've got there. <laughs> just a little bit around the edges just to hold this spread that out with my nozzle a bit. Now grab your vinyl and we're just going to place it so that the edge of the vinyl, this here is just above the hole or if you haven't punched a hole, get your pattern piece and just mark where the hole will be so you know that you're going to place or you'll make sure that you get your vinyl above the hole or and also this edge is just below the curve there so just center it left to right. like that and the main reason not to put too much glue is so you don't get it all over your vinyl oozing into your vinyl <laughs> which is not a good look 
I'll just set that on there and allow that to dry as well. So retrieve your card slot E piece. There's one of those. And your two card slot F pieces. Two of those. And we need one interior panel D. So just grab that, set the other side, other piece aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch these three curved edges and one side of the panel D piece, the interior panel D. Um, this will be the side, if you've got a directional print, where your card slots will open to. They will open to this side, so we're going to top stitch this side and the curved edges. Now we're just going to stitch 3.3 millimeter stitch length, three millimeters from the edge, or one eighth of an inch. Retrieving your interior panel D piece and two of your card slots. We're just going to add some glue to the bottom of the card slot. Just run a little bead of glue along the bottom. And position this so it's at the top of the interior panel D piece. Make sure the edges align and just press that into place. Now grab your second piece. And we're going to repeat to place that just below the first one. And press into place. Make sure everything's sitting nicely. And we'll just put something on top of that to hold it down and let that dry. So retrieving your ID pocket window, we're going to top stitch 3 millimeters 1 8 of an inch from the curved edge and 2 millimeters 1 16 of an inch around the ID pocket window. Okay, so now I'm going to top stitch the curved edge 3 millimeters 1 8 of an inch from the edge. I'm going to use this to make sure my machine doesn't eat my cork. <laughs> I'm stitching 3.3 .3 stitch length. millimeters one sixteenth of an inch roughly around the ID pocket window Okay, so now we need to retrieve our exterior panel assembly and what we're going to do is we're going to glue this into place there. So first we need to do is get some glue. Now I like to run a bead approximately one centimeter wide down the sides it just makes it a little bit more snugger fit for the, the cards otherwise they're a little bit loose in there so gluing this a bit wider will just make it a little bit more snug Grabbing your exterior assembly, just place your ID pocket down on top like so 
And we're just going to make sure those edges align nicely. Like that. We're just going to sit this aside to dry. Now, retrieve your card slot assembly. So now we're going to top stitch along the bottom of this slot and along the bottom of this slot. And I'm just stitching the bottom ends of these card slots. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. Like so. Retrieving your card slot assembly and your card slot E piece, we're going to glue the two side edges of the card slot F down just by adding a little bit of glue to each end. Don't need much, just a little tiny dab. Now align that with the top edge of the interior panel D and each card slot needs to sit separate from each other but right up against each other. Now grab your card slot E and we're going to run some glue down the sides and along the bottom edge. So I want to keep this glue about three millimeters, one eighth of an inch in width. We don't want it to go too wide because that will shrink our pocket size down. So now just align that down onto your interior panel D piece. Retrieve your coin pocket piece and now we're going to top stitch along the top curved edge. So now we're going to top stitch along the top curved edge of our coin pocket. I'm going to add my bit of fabric here. Three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the edge. Like that. So now that we have top stitched the top edge of our coin pocket, we need to install a snap. We need to install the little knobbly bit. So we're just, I'm using a press, hand press for this. So I just need to change over the die piece. So I just, that's going to go into this piece here. And we need to put this bit down the bottom and this goes on there and snap and there we have it. We have our snap piece in our coin pocket. Now we need to grab our flap and we're going to top stitch around here, around the curve and around this straight side edge there. I'm just going to top stitch around my flap three millimeters, one eighth of an inch from the side. Okay, so retrieve your interior panel D piece, your second piece. And we need to draw a line one centimeter in from this side edge or three eighths of an inch. Yeah. 
like that. And we need to add some glue. Like that. Now retrieve your flap that we have just stitched. And we're going to put it the inner side down onto the line and match up the raw edges at the side. So it gets stuck really good like that. Retrieve your interior panel C and we need our card slot assembly so we'll just remove the clips. Remember the cutout piece is down at the bottom and we're going to glue the three sides which do not have top stitching. So we're going to put some glue on there. Now we so now we will place our card pocket assembly onto the left hand side of our interior panel C piece. We're going to line up the edges get them as neat as we can and going to put some clips on there to hold it I'm going to leave that to dry I'm going to add a second set of cards it around and just glue it down like that and then have a pocket on that side and a pocket on here and then three card slots so six card slots in total but for me I'm going to be making a coin pocket so I won't be gluing that down there now <laughs> so now we're going to finish off our coin pocket assembly so we're just going to add some glue to the three sides of our coin pocket And now we're going to stick that down and align those edges. Make sure they're nice and neat. And leave that to dry. So with those pieces drying, we're going to retrieve our exterior piece here and we're going to flip it over. So we're looking at the bottom edge with our panel curve to the left and the right side is up. Now we grab a ruler and a pen and we're going to mark eight centimeters three and one eighth of an inch from the corner of our flap here going to put a mark eight centimeters use something that will come off or fade and now we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch all the way from that mark around to that top corner okay so now we're going to stitch from the mark we made on the side bottom edge here I'm going to stitch all the way around to that top corner at the other side Now with the exterior panel assembly sitting right side towards you as before with the flap side over on your left hand side we need to measure along 16 centimeters or six and a quarter inches from the corner of the flap and make a mark and also at the 20 centimeter seven and seven eighths of an inch point there 
and what we're going to do is just top stitch that little gap so now all we're going to do is top stitch between those two marks that we just made three millimeters one eighth of an inch from the side just lining that up like that okay so now that we've stitched that gap we've stitched around there we need to install the button part of our snap in here and the knobbly bit in here and since I've still got the fittings for the knobbly bit that's the one I will do first this piece and that goes into this piece here because this will come around and snap into place there pop the button in there and this bit goes on the top in sometimes <laughs> so I need to make sure that my button this flat shiny bit goes on the outside so I need to turn it up the other way and put it like that so then that will come around and snap into there okay, so now that we have that like so we need to set that aside grab our coin pocket and now we're going to top stitch down this left hand side now we're going to top stitch three millimeters one eighth of an inch along this bottom edge and that will seal off our little coin pocket Doo -doo -doo. now we just need to go and install our snap so now that we have stitched the bottom edge of our coin pocket like so we're going to install the snap into the top of our coin pocket and there we have it we have now the I forgot to turn on the camera so all I've done is draw a one centimeter line down the side there and add some glue and some glue to the top and bottom edge and leaving that edge with the top stitching unglued just going to smooth this glue out and I already did this once but like I said I forgot to turn on the camera so clever aren't I now retrieve your interior panel C piece and we're just going to stick that down onto there and really squish that middle section down and now we're going to put some clips on it to hold like that so now what we're going to do next is top stitch this top edge right up to that point there so stitch to there to there and ignore the fact that I top stitched that row there because earlier I wasn't paying attention to my own instructions <laughs> and yes um, yours shouldn't have that top stitching there but if you do it doesn't matter but I'm just going to top stitch over the top of that at a later step but for now we're just going to top stitch from there to there so now we're just going to top stitch this top end um, the side opposite the cutout three millimeters one eighth of an inch from the edge and we're just going to end there like that so what we're going to do now is we're going to be sticking this down on this side here so that we've got it glued there. 
So what we're going to do first is mark a one centimeter line down here so we can run some glue. Like so. Now, so what we're going to do is put glue down this one centimeter strip and along that bottom edge. Now we're going to stick that in place. So we're lining up those two edges at the top there and down the bottom end. I'm getting everything nice and straight. So that coin pocket flap should line up there. Just press everything together. Get some clips to hold. I'm going to sit that aside and allow that to dry. And once that's dried, we're going to stitch there and up there. We're not going to do this side until we've stitched that side. So now I'm just going to top stitch down this side from that top edge there. Back stitch to hold. So now we need to get to this second piece in place. Just going to get that thread away. And that one there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue down this side and along this side here. Now what we need to do is align this top corner up into that top corner and it's a little bit fiddly but not too bad. Let's pull it up and line up those edges put some clips in there to hold it so it stays put it's already slipping away on me there there we have that gluing so we're just going to allow that to dry before we do our final top stitching which will be from this side because it's so much easier to sew that than it is to try and do it from this side but first we need to let that dry so now we just need to take off our clips and we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch from this side from down here and right up to that cutout there and I find it helpful to grab a pen and just mark the spot where that cutout starts and you'll meet up with your previous top stitching there so we'll go over to the sewing machine and do that so we're going to start in this top corner over here there we have it one nice little cute little wallet <laughs> so there you have it the snap and go wallet Woohoo! do subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of any new releases as I add them and hit the like button <laughs> you can find the pattern at www.chriswdesigns.com.au for the Aussies and www.chriswdesigns.com for everyone else in the world. <laughs> and you know the drill, hit the like button. Catch you later. And hit the like button. <laughs>